Hi Leo, welcome to your Week Ahead Taroscope with me, Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. Your key to the week this week is the full card. New things, new places, new people, new energies are making their way into you. But for you particularly this week, there is a reset button. I feel like a lot of you have been gearing up to pressing this for yourself. So yes, the full card tends to represent something that's coming in for us that we maybe aren't aware of or don't have anything in our toolbox to kind of approach or deal with but this really does feel for me like in a personal sense you're really pressing the reset button so there's something here that you're either choosing to rededicate yourself to maybe some old skill that you're picking back up maybe old studies things that you had uh, once upon a time told yourself that you would do or get round to it's like now they take on some new sense of prominence and you start moving towards them with a lot more intention which I'm I'm totally here for. Um, if you are a continued subby, you know Rafi loves you. And if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to like, share, and if you should so choose and this resonates, hit the subscribe button. I would like to bless my deck of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity, and abundance. And I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise. They help you on your path to your highest vibrational good. So for your actions and options for the week ahead you've got the the world card right so look at this you've got the full card which is the beginning of all things the divine spark of uh new everything uh, or the should i say the p pure potential and then you have the culmination and completion or rather the perfection as your actions and options and so what this suggests is i'm really sorry about the board i know it's whited out is because it's so bright here today um but it's also really cloudy at the same time weird weather <clears throat> Your actions and options card suggests a level up. So you're pressing the reset button this week. You're starting again. You're refreshing or resetting in order to get your mind focused on something that you really feel is beneficial for you. Or even if it's just something that you want that you want to welcome into your life. Then you've got the world card as your actions and options, which suggests some of you are connecting to a new community this week. Maybe you are um, making new connections or forging new connections with new people in your life, new groups, new social circles, absolutely possible. Another way that this might show up for you as well is you could have a full circle moment where you realize a dream, a hope, a wish, something that you have worked towards for a long time. You could have a moment where you step back and you're like, whoa, you know what? I'm living inside the manifestation that I had started to work towards. Um, another way that this could show up as well, especially in terms of your options, there is an op opportunity this week for you to get ahead, but it is gonna require patience, focus, hard work, discipline and determination for your communications and conversations you've got the seven of wands so whatever it is that is showing up for you this week especially if for the new things that are coming in or the things that you're wanting to welcome into your life like i said patience hard work discipline focus all of those things yes but you're going to have to fight for it all right for some of you as well this could be where and i'm really sorry to say this this could be a, a week where a new issue or a new um, battle or battle of words or battle of wills shows up for you. This will be something or someone that maybe you never had a problem with before, but it's like there's something this week that is incepted and it could be a moment where you say, okay, you know what? This is a foreshadowing. This is gonna become a problem at a later date. So nip it in the bud now. Um, I will say, because it is the Seven of Wands, it does suggest that you are in the right, okay? And this isn't a, a, a green pass for you to, a green light or a green pass for you to act like a moron or to be a complete tyrant, but it is to say to you, whatever it is that's coming up this week, it's likely to be something that you either feel really passionate about or you feel like, no, you know what? And this is the thing, like a lot of people don't get, like Leos, yes, and if you've been with me long enough, you know, I know there are two types of Leos. You've got the overt sort of more eccentric types of Leos nothing like myself of course mm -hmm. uh, then you've got the what I call the silent dignity types who they like to interact they like to but they are a little bit more introverted they are a bit more stand not stand offish but they are a bit more stand back and observe and just gently radiate my my light all right now because Leo is ruled by the sun, is naturally very generous and will shine all things on all people at all times. 
the challenge that you that you have is a lot of time leo people can be very persuasive but persuasive but they can also be easily persuaded and swayed if you know there's heartstrings involved and so this week it's important that you stick to your guns. Whatever it is that comes up, whatever the conversation is, you're having to just know that you are in the right. So like I said, that doesn't give you sort of grounds to act like a tyrant, but it does give you grounds to stand your ground. When it comes to your those of you that are studying or in some form of academia, this suggests to me that as you're starting your studies or as you're starting the next year of your studies, there's something here that you're wanting to adapt or to change about your degree, about your studies. Maybe you want to take drop one course and put another one in. Do it this week, all right? Like this is the time to revise, redo, rehash, reconsider. Mercury is retrograde after all. Um, any form of your studies. Now, for those of you that are employed by somebody else, choosing to get ahead this week could potentially cost you a friendship, uh, a work friendship, or, you know, like everyone's got the work wife or the work husband or, you know, your work family and all the rest of it. Um, this week you could upset, like your moves forward could upset somebody else, all right? just something to be mindful of. When it comes to your um, business owners, entrepreneurs, solopreneurs, people that work for themselves, you're looking at taking a bigger slice of the pie this week, or maybe you are you're saying to yourself, actually, you know what? No, I wanna do this for me. And it's like, not consequences be damned, but it's like, I'm not gonna edit or censor what I want for myself. Um, through the, the lens of other people. I'm not doing it anymore. And fair play to you. And I think this is a week where that more authentic sense of self is coming through because you're fighting more for the things that you want because you want them. When it comes to those of you that are retired and no longer working, it does look like you're going to be pulled into that some of that family drama over the course of this week. So just be mindful of that. For your love and relations, you have the Four of Pentacles. So for those of you that are partnered, married, or in long-term commitments that are well-established, some of you could literally be looking at or looking into a new home, purchasing a new home, buying a new home, uh, selling a new home. You are going to have to negotiate hard, all right? Like this week, um, my advice to you would be whatever you're buying, whatever you're selling with your significant other, negotiate your tushy off, all right? Now, the other thing as well, there could be, not for all of you, but there's a potential here for a little bit of a battle of wills to take place in the, in the relationship. And I think it's because you're not budging from what you know to be right for yourself. And you know what? More power to you. For those of you that are single, um, honestly, you could either meet somebody that is, you know, it might be somebody that you meet in the bank, in the building society, in the doctor's surgery. It could be like in a really weird sort of, not weird, but you know what I mean, like a really mundane space or this person's job could have something, it's like something really practical, really tangible, really earthy, something that is maybe not considered necessarily too exciting. And, you know, sometimes that's the way that it needs to be. You know, if if everyone in the relationship were like Raph, can you imagine? Gosh, I wouldn't want to be in that house. Uh, <laughs> you know, let alone, let alone uh, yeah. And this is my point, like maybe, just maybe this person is bringing you the other half of what you need. For your money and materials, you have the lover's card. So there are choices to be made, potentially big choices to be made when it comes to the resources this week. Making more money, the potential to make more money comes through friends and acquaintances and associations this week. And also because it is the lover's card, it looks like this week you're having to choose something and again, remember what I said here, and it's like you're choosing to get ahead, but for some reason, somebody that, you know, is, is, it's always the way, right? If you get an opportunity, it means somebody else lost out on it. This week, you might make a choice or accept an opportunity that puts somebody else out, and you know what? My advice is don't stop for it, okay? Just keep going, keep doing what you're doing. When it comes to your uh, physical health and vitality, this week, it's because you've got the Seven of Wands here. If you didn't have that or the full card, actually, 
I would probably have said this would, you know, your upper extremities, but this week, your cardio, your, you know, your lungs, your heart, like all of that kind of stuff. I'm not a doctor, I can't give you medical advice, but I would say this would be a good week to get back into some form of cardio, whether it's running, swimming, biking, you know, all the other cardio stuffs as well. Uh, when it comes to your home and environment, um, for some of you, this could be a week where you're inviting somebody over if you're single. Um, for those of you that are partnered or married, this could be a time where you and your partner are, are a lot more insular this week, where it's like, you know what, we just want us time. Everybody else will have their moment, we'll invite people around, we'll do the hostess with the mostest stuff, but for now, this is us. With that said, I wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff. Have a fantastic week. Let me know in the comments how it shapes up. Take care and I'll see you soon.